Here's what's been making the business headlines in sub-Saharan Africa this week. Somalia has rejected any discussions with Ethiopia over the latter's agreement to lease a port in Somaliland. Under a recent memorandum of understanding, Ethiopia would consider recognizing the breakaway region's independence in return for gaining access to the Red Sea partly through the port lease. On Thursday, regional heads of state gathered in Uganda to try to defuse the growing diplomatic crisis. Nigeria's former central bank governor, Godwin Emefile, was on Friday charged with fraud, including obtaining $6.2 million in bank funds under false pretenses, part of 20 charges levelled against him by prosecutors. Emefile pleaded not guilty. His trial will begin next month. Also in Nigeria, its junior oil minister has said regulatory approval will be given for Shell's decision to sell its onshore oil and gas assets to a consortium. Following years of spills, sabotage and court cases, Shell announced its onshore exit on Tuesday, opting to focus its future investments on its less troubled offshore assets. Tanzania said on Tuesday it had reinstated approval for Kenya Airways to operate flights between Nairobi and Dar es Salaam. It had banned the national carrier's flights the day before, after Kenya refused to grant a request for Air Tanzania to operate cargo flights between the two countries. Tanzania said that request has now been granted. And finally, the African Development Bank has said all its international staff will return to Ethiopia, a month after they were withdrawn following an assault on staff members by government security forces. In a statement, AFDB said Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed had apologised for the incident and assured safety and security for the bank and its staff.